This video will show you how to access your reports in CADM 3D. After you have done your analysis, many reports are available in CADM 3D. In this case, we did the analysis with the gravity section without incremental analysis. So if we would have done an incremental analysis, there would be an additional button here. Um, what are the different reports that are available? You have the input values, if you click this, I'm sorry for the size of that window. I'm going to decrease that so you can see everything. Here it is. OK, so you can select whatever you want to see. It will be shown on the right side of the screen here. So all input data, you can select all here. It will show everything. So. Everything that was defined by your modeling will be presented here. You can save this report as an Excel file. You can save it as a rich text format. You can print preview your, uh, your report and can, you can print it as well right away onto the printer. You can copy everything to the clipboard and send it anywhere you like just as Excel or Word or any word processor. Uh, these were the input values. You have as well the calculated load. Once again, I have to resize the report. Okay, so all the intermediate results can be consulted here. So as you can see, we have the structure, volumes and centroid, all the dead loads, the reservoir loads, post tensioning, additional forces, seismic load into the horizontal direction and into the vertical direction. And each of these results are presented in terms of elevation here. So all the lift joints are presented here. So like for the first one, volumes and centroid of the structure, you get the volume in cubic meter and you get the centroid in X, Y, and Z of the dam, and so on. So all intermediate values are presented into this report. And this report can be as well saved to Excel or a rich text format. Finally, for the same type of, of report, we have The load combinations, so I can select all of them here. Same thing again. What I have here is for the first load case. I have cracking, normal upstream stresses. If I have a crack that is opening or is closing, it's going to be shown here. The uplift pressure, the downstream uh, normal pressure, normal stress. The crack length, if there's any in the in the downstream direction, and then I have the resultants, so forces and moments. So I have the normal load for each of the lift joints: normal load, uplift, shear, in both direction, upstream, downstream, left, right, total shear, moment at the center of the ligament or the on crack section. And then I have my performance indicator. So I have sliding safety factors, peak individual, uplifting, um, floating. Sorry about this. This has not been uh, translated. This is flotation. This is written in French, but it means floating. So as you can see, these of the some of the numbers here, okay, are not respecting the uh, the minimal. Uh, indicator which would be 1.5 so we are below 1.5 here so it's appearing in red so for all these load cases you have all these values and as well you can save it as an excel or rich text format you also ha have access to stability drawing i'm going to reduce that again so yeah you can see okay so if you have um, uh, a printout problem just simply reduce the font size here so that you can read everything I'll put it to 8 here 
So sorry about the buttons here, but it's really, really small window. So they are pretty much overlapping here. But what you have here is for all the load cases for stress and stability, you get the results. So for, for stress analysis, what you have is the for the elevation, you have the crack length, if there's any. In this case, there's no crack length. Everything uh, stays within the tensile resistance. We have the normal uh, stress located on the upstream side, the uplift corresponding to this. We have this the distribution, as we can see here. And on the other side, same thing, same results, but for the, the downstream side. And then if you go to the stability analysis, the results, we have the resultant position location, the inner core where the resultants will be located inside and will not develop any tension anywhere. And you have a sliding safety factor, peak residual, uplifting uh, safety factor, the normal resist resultant, the uplift resultant, the shear, the moment resultant, and the uh, resultant position in terms of percentage of the length of the joint. And this is available for all uh, load cases. You can print this image, you can copy it. Uh, this will be copied as a vectoral image, so you, if you paste it into any software, uh, it will not be copied as bitmap, but as a vectorial one, so you will keep all the quality of the picture. You can save that image as well, and this will be saved as well as a vectorial format, which would be uh, Windows meta file here and that's it for this type of uh, results and you saw you have, as well you have access to the <coughs> stress distribution so uh, in this case I can select a single joint and a single load case so in this case I have selected I'm going to select the joint at the base. Sorry about that. Okay. And I'm going to select the usual case. So now I can see on the left side is the normal stress and on the right side is the uplift pressure. So they are on the same scale here. So the uplift distribution is shown in blue here. And in black, what you have is the normal stress distribution. You have the resultant position. You have the uh, inner core where this is corresponding to uh, uh, zero tension uh, anywhere in the section as long as the resultants stay within this inner core. And in dotted line here, you have the sketch of your section. Uh, if you click on values, you have access to a lot of information here, which I will not go through, but if you have cracking, uh, uh, what is uh, the inertia and area that is left uh, within the ligament? Uh, so on crack and crack section, normal forces and moments, uh, the the inner core, uplift pressures distribution, forces and moments, safety factors, and everything corresponding to that load case and that exact uh, joint number, which would for this case would be the base. That pretty much uh, covers all the results that we can have within CADAM3D. Thank you.